Welcome back everyone to a Spanish Rocky Cobra Kai Season 6 Watch Party! Production of Season 6 is in full swing and took a massive left turn. They took the shooting on the road, overseas, again. This time they're in beautiful Barcelona. They've been filming outdoors in public, so naturally they've attracted a lot of attention from the locals and other tourists. There are a multitude of videos and images of cast members out there. They're busy for sure. Who we can see so far is Johnny, Daniel, Miguel, Robbie, and Sam. I tend to suspect this shooting is it. The overseas trips are generally small and focused. They want to take as few people along as they have to to keep things cheap and fast. As is tradition, Hayden is there as well. I'm not sure how he's always the one who does this, but maybe he's the only one with an updated passport. Who knows? Obviously, this is all in preparation for the Sakai Takai. Apparently, the World Tournament will be taking place in Barcelona, which is in Catalonia, which is northeastern Spain. So basically, the tournament is at a majestic locale. That was to be expected. What we're interested in here is what is going on. Overall, I get the impression a lot of what we've seen being shot could work into a training montage. Many of the scenes captured mostly involve them, well, training, or at least in these training outfits. You get a real vibe that this is some sort of epic final montage before the big event. Luckily, as you all know, we have a Johnny Lawrence favorite film to compare it to, or actually several. Yeah, this is a Rocky homage montage. The fighting, the training, but most specifically, the conclusion. And perhaps my favorite clip, they're at the top of a large staircase. Well, as it is, this happens to be the National Art Museum of Catalonia. It is a gorgeous location. You can see the views, especially with the fountain down below. Now, obviously, you know what they're being at the top of a large staircase harkens back to. It's all about Rocky. You can even see Robbie, Sam, and Miguel running to the top. Daniel and Johnny were already there, but I think they were running too. They were just in front. They all take a moment to celebrate. Now you can actually see what the shot in the show will be because they are using steady camera circling them. Remember this iconic fist pump? Well, now it is fully upgraded to a full hug. You've never seen Daniel and Johnny so close. Sam, Miguel, and Robbie celebrate too. They look out over the city as the camera circles around them. In this final part, they all start clapping. The camera operator ran back and set the camera down. I'm not entirely sure if that is part of the shot or they were just goofing around because maybe they finished shooting this scene. By the way, this is the staircase they were running up. It was on the right side of the building while looking towards it. You have to assume this is the climax of this training scene, the montage. Like you always climax on top. That's just how it goes and this is as high as you're gonna get. Now, you realize they probably didn't fly several thousand miles to another continent just to shoot a training montage, however beautiful it may be. There has to be more going on. Now for season three, they filmed in Okinawa for only about two days. It was very brief. They got basic scenic footage, the airport, as well as a few key scenes with Chosen and Daniel. The climactic farewell scene was harder because it started to rain and they had no choice but to go through with it. You ever notice how you can see Daniel literally getting wet here? Anyway, it was relatively short and split between the two episodes. For season five, they spent almost a full week in Puerto Rico for the two episodes in Mexico. That seems to be more time than shows up in the actual show, but I think they were taking it slower. Plus, a lot of the crowd scenes and such took extra time. It's worth remembering in both seasons, much of the foreign stuff was still shot in Atlanta. These scenes were in Atlanta, the dinner scenes and similar were all in Atlanta as well. That means we can't take too much from these videos or even determine how long the Barcelona section will be in the season based on how long they're shooting. In fact, they're almost certainly shooting simultaneously in Atlanta right now while they're shooting this stuff on location. What will be the most interesting is if they're shooting any post Sakai Taikai scenes in this location. As I said, what we've seen so far seems to be the training, the preparation. This is everything that's happening before and maybe during the tournament. But what about after the tournament concludes? That would be a scene like this goodbye moment or the emotional reuniting scene. 
And by the way, this scene here actually leaked months before season five came out. One of the production hands recorded it on his phone and it was put out there. I regret having seen it, but ultimately I don't think it ruined much. Still, any scene of celebration or commiserating in defeat would be very telling for the results of the tournament. I doubt they'll be in a crowd. I mean, they'll want to keep some of that stuff out of the way and minimize potential information getting out there. Something like that could be a nighttime low-key shoot. For that matter, when is the Sakai Takai taking place in the season? Filming has gone on for two months, and we know it is scheduled to go on at least until June or July. This may be the biggest clue yet. While they don't shoot in precise order, they still film in a relative order. At a normal three-month shooting schedule, they would be somewhere in the last four episodes or so. It's fair to assume something similar here. The Sakai Taikai is likely taking place somewhere around episodes 6 to 10. Maybe even all four of those episodes, depending on how long this stuff goes on. That gives more time for them to shoot all the other scenes and start to shoot the bonus episodes 11 to 15. I mean, if you foolishly deny Watch Party and think there won't be episodes 11 through 15, that would put the Sakai Takai around episodes 4 to 7? That's kind of a weird mid-season arc. This is too big for mid-season. And while we're on the Sakai Taikai, I want to point out the obvious in these training shots. Daniel and Johnny are out there training too. They even have their respective headbands on. That's how you know they mean business. I've said before there's a real possibility of some sort of sensei bracket in the Sakai Taikai. It fills out the tournament and makes it the most epic event of the Miyagi-verse. If Daniel and Johnny are training as well, they could be doing more than running along with Miguel, Robbie, and Sam. They could be training for the tournament right along with them. That would explain the huge group effort at the stairs. They're all in it together. Also, in this short clip, Sam and Robbie with the bow staffs, you can see Daniel practice some moves while it's going on. Are they all training together? Is he supervising them? It was unclear if they were actually rolling then or not. But frankly, I don't normally recall seeing Ralph Macchio just bust out some moves while standing around waiting to film. It's not impossible, but I get the impression this is for the scene they're shooting. The point is, they're united. Everyone has to deliver if they're going to win the Sakai Taikai. Sadly, we don't have Julie Pierce. She's a big part of my idea for the Sensei Bracket and Season 6. Certainly she could fit into it all somehow, but she's not anywhere to be seen. But that doesn't mean she can't still fit into all this. In fact, maybe Julie prefers to train at some temple rather than out in the streets like Rocky. That would sort of make sense. Plus, in reality, the production knows any spotting of Hillary Swank would be huge, so they would write and shoot the scenes to keep her out of the spotlight. There's also one final missing piece of the puzzle. The other girl. Where's Tori? Yeah, Devin has stepped up, but she was always going to play third to Sam and Tori for the Sakai Takai. I talked a while ago about a team captain, and I suspected Sam may be the team captain for the girls. The fact that Sam is in these shots and Tori isn't makes me believe I am right. Watch Party tends to be right. Now between Robbie and Miguel, there's still an open question. Could they be co-captains? Perhaps, though I don't know how that would work. But on the other hand, co-captains of a team isn't unheard of. But then it's worth adding one final possibility. I may go into this more in a later video. What if our two missing women are training together? The reason we don't have Julie Pierce and the reason we don't have Tori is because they are training one-on-one. -on -one. I've long suspected a connection between those two characters, and this may be the biggest hint at it yet. Though I admit it is via negative inference. We don't see either of them, so we assume they're together. The Julie Tori combination will be massive. We'll just have to wait longer to see. I will provide more updates to Season 5 as they come. Meanwhile, I have a lot of videos on the Sakai Takai you'll want to review, so make sure you're up to date. Have a great day. I'll see you at the next watch party.